Converge or diverge, sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, 2 to the k's power times k factorial over k plus 2 in the parentheses factorial. The usual way to go about this is that because we have the factorials and we also have the k in the exponent, we should do this with the ratio test. But I did that for you guys already. Please check out the video down below in the description. In this video, I wanted to show you guys another way. Here is the dot process. We see that we have the factorials on the top and also on the bottom. This kind of evened it out, right? But then we have an extra 2 to the k's power on the top. So with that being said, I'm suspicious with this because I don't even know if this expression will approach to zero as k goes to infinity. So I would like to check with the test for divergence first. Okay, so I am going to show you guys with a TFD, test for divergence, for this video. To do that, I'm just going to take the limit as k goes to infinity. And then I will look at the original expression, which is just that. That's my ak. And I'll put down ak right here, which is 2 to the k, k factorial over k plus 2 factorial. And to take this limit, I'm going to simplify the factorials first. To do that, I'm going to work out the bigger factorial. k plus 2 factorial is the same as saying k plus 2. We put down whatever we have in the parentheses first. And then for the next one, I will put down one less, which is going to be k plus 1. And then the next one, once again, it's going to be one less, which is just going to be k. And then we will have k minus 1, k minus 2, so on, so on, so on. All this together will be just k factorial. And now we see we can cancel this k factorial with that k factorial. So they're out. ak is secretly the same as 2 to the k's power over k plus 2 times k plus 1. I am taking the limit. What can we do? If you would like, multiply this out, you will end up with k squared plus 3k plus 2, right? On the top, you pretty much just care about the only thing that you have, which is 2 to the k. On the bottom, you only care about k squared. This is going to be approaching to 2 to the k over k squared. And now you have a couple ways to think about this. The easiest way to think about this is that because on the top, you have an exponential 2 to the k, this kind of infinity is going to be bigger than when you have a quadratic which is the k squared. You can also quote my list okay, from my class. Either way, you will know that this is going to be approaching to infinity. Because once again, the top infinity, it's going to be bigger than the bottom infinity. The exponential is going to be bigger than the quadratic as k goes to infinity. So we work out the limit. At the end, this is the limit you have to indicate this. It's not zero. And that's good, because now I can draw a conclusion. The conclusion is the original series, let me write it down, sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, 2 to the k times k factorial over k plus 2, in a parentheses, factorial. This right here diverges by the test for divergence, because ak doesn't even approach to zero. And this is enough to show that the original diverges. That's it.